The Eagles announced today that Jalen Hurts will be the starting quarterback in 2022 per Howie Roseman. Sirianni also voiced his support for Jalen Hurts. It looks like they're riding with Jalen Hurts. They're riding this wave out. Do you think the Eagles can successfully build a team contender around Jalen Hurts? He's your guy. He had an awful performance against he the did. Buccaneers. Yeah. How do you feel about that? <laughs> Give your two cents. Yeah, so did Mac. Um, so did Carr. So Mac did was way Allen. better than Jalen Hurts. Um, okay, not, no, no, he was not. not. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta, y'all gotta stop. Y'all gotta stop. Not that good, bro. Y'all gotta stop. Not that good. Y'all gotta, y'all gotta stop acting like Mac Jones. Bro, he the, the perfect like pass he threw wasn't just a great play by Micah, bro. Like come perfect on. pass. That was how about that wide open touchdown he had where he threw the ball at the ground for a touchdown. And that pick that he had. Listen, neither of them had a good game, but I don't care. It's their first game. They're both practically rookies. Mac was better though. If you want to say marginally better, sure. You literally you could have that. From but I don't really care. Ugly. Also, I, we'll, we'll talk about Mac. Just we will talk about Jalen Hurts. Stop hating on my boy Mac. Man. Stop hating my boy Jalen. Facts. Bro. I'm not hating on Jalen. He played awful. Yeah, yeah, bro. It's like you literally said <laughs> every, everything. You read this beautiful at, intro, then you say he played terrible. Go ahead, talk. Hold <laughs> on. Answer this question. Right. Last week, wild card preview. Did I or did I not say exactly? What the Bucks needed to do to make Jalen Hurts look very the, the flawed, Eagles never had and a they chance. exactly did. They were completely didn't have outmatched. A I, I said they weren't going to have it, a chance. It just though. didn't so take so a so rocket science to figure all that out. But, they didn't I, have a chance. But okay, I understand that. But I I also warned you guys about his his lack of pocket presence, yeah, and it, that's it, been a thing. It, yes, okay, he's but, also been yeah, banged up. He has an ankle hold injury. Hold on, hold on. To be fair, y'all didn't think it was egregious as what you saw versus the Bucks. What do you mean? What do you mean? Yeah. The pocket presence, the going through progressions. Hurt was Joel, awful. Hurts you can be was a witness awful. to this. How many times have I said to you, I don't love Hurts as a passer? Yeah, how how yes. It's so adamant. You yes. don't even have to. Okay, I'm sorry for grouping you in with Thank this Hurts lover. Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry, God man. forbid, bro. I had to get God off forbid, that. his first full season, he hasn't been perfect. <laughs> Just <laughs> like no fucking quarterback is. Outside uh, okay, of like, I, get I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I'm not going to be too hard on Hurts. Just just uh, give your take on Hurts. Okay, I won't be too hard on Mac. sorry, So... To, to recap, the question is, can the Eagles build a successful, you know, championship roster around Jalen Hurts? And this is what it comes down to because we did, I did my quarterback tiers list a couple of weeks ago. It comes down to who are my other options? Yeah, because Hurts is with, in that category with my boy. I'm just saying. Uh, oh, really? That's he's he's in the saying. tour tier? That's what I'm saying. He wasn't in the tour tier for me. Um, that's what I'm saying because you were chatting, putting my boy in that dead last yeah, okay. tier. Okay, bro. Two, I'm telling you right now, Mac couch. is in that category, and so is him. No nah, way. Mac um, is a tier above both. No, he's those not. Guys. Okay. Yes, he is. Here we go. I'm the two. I'm the Hurts guy. Am I allowed to talk? You guys? Yes. I'm back I'm, with I'm, I'm, Mac I'm Jones. Been like, you guys are mad defensive. Two is better than both of them. Anywho, um, it depends where your other options are. Because if the Eagles could have, they have three first round picks. If the Eagles could use two of those and somehow get a Aaron Rodgers or Russell Wilson, it's probably not going to happen. But if you can upgrade, I 100% always say Jalen Hurts, he's not a top 10 quarterback in the league, right? He's not going to mm-hmm. backpack this team to Super Bowl in this year or next year, right? I understand that he's not there yet in terms of his progression. Not there yet. Not there yet, and who Not knows? There. Who knows? I never Easy. said he was going to be a right, five quarterback. All right, all right. I'll he stop could be being a, He could be a franchise guy, <laughs> potentially. Because when, when we look in his first full season, he had just under 4,000 total yards, 26 total touchdowns, only 11 turnovers. Mm-hmm. That's pretty good. Wouldn't you say that's pretty damn good for a quarterback who doesn't have, you know, maybe the perfect situation? You got Jalen Rieger out there. He might be the worst oh, wide receiver in the league. Yeah, he's not good. Sucks. He, he's not he good. sucks. But when you, especially because we talked about it with Cliff Kingsbury and Kyler Murray, can you get better year after year? Jalen Hurts had obviously made a step from his rookie season, although it was only four games starting, to his sophomore season. From, 21, from 2020 to 2021, his interception percentage dropped, his sack percentage decreased, his quarterback rating increased, his QBR increased. So when you look at all these stats overall, and you could just tell just by looking, he has improved as a passer. His completion percentage has gone up drastically as mm-hmm. well. And then I also think he's been pretty good under pressure. While you do talk about his pocket awareness where it could definitely improve, I think he has been pretty decent in terms of being under pressure with not the best weapons on the outside. Devonta Smith is going to be a stud. But outside of that, I've made my what I've said about Quez Watkins and, and Jalen Rieger, these guys, they're, uh, bro, I don't know about Quez because Quez got open a couple times and Hurts yes, missed but, him by yards. Yes, oh, no, that, I know. There was a one a wide open touchdown. That's a pretty good missed. deep threat. Yes, but regardless, they're not, I wouldn't say I, either of these guys are special. I agree, but at the same time, it's like... Make but when you look at Hurts under pressure this season, which is, I mean, that's where going to be 70% of your throws. You're not always going to have a clean pocket, damn near never in the NFL. 
He was under pressure 204 of his dropbacks, which is 11th most in the league. During those dropbacks, he had 1,046 yards, which is 8th most. He's able to make those completions. 63 touchdown interception ratio. Turnover-worthy play on 4% of his throws. 10th best, about the same as Kyler and Kirk Cousins. We like those guys, right? We like Kyler and Kirk Cousins, right? We like them. We I like, like them. Kyler oh my Kirk. God, these stats are He's, driving me crazy. Well, what's wrong with these stats? I can, I can just tell you spent hours looking this up. <laughs> this took me 10 minutes, bro. This took me Wait, 10 bro, minutes. You spent, what was the stat you just said? I'm sorry, with Kyler and Kirk? Um... Turnover worthy plays while he's under oh, pressure. Yeah. I, I, 4% I, of the time. I hate the t- I hate the turnover worthy plays. I, I think it's a great stat because it doesn't just, you know, no, I'm, not a, I'm not I'm not opposed receiver. to I it. You're in. You're I in. just know that all you well, I mean, it's your job. <laughs> it's your job to basically I gotta um, stop laughing. I'm sorry. It's your job to make the case for Hertz yeah. as being what you think he can be. But I so also, I, I appreciate the stats you got. I also but, well, I you know, do think he I'm has to on where he does have to improve, like Drew mentioned, yeah. is passing down the field. Correct. This season he has was not good passing the ball down the field, only completed thirty four percent of his passes of yeah. twenty plus it's yards. Horrible. And Tool had ten never. turnover worthy throws, which was, you know, top three in the league, top three most. So He's improved across the board statistically outside of those deep throws, which is fine. It's his first year starting. I still have I still have faith. But he also brings the elite rushing ability that a lot of quarterbacks aren't going to bring. You know, he's in that. a very small category of guys with Kyler and Lamar in terms of being able to just build the offense around his ability to rush the ball, RPO, read options. And he's also a great leader. Everyone buys into him, the organization, the players. They all know he's the guy. So you have three first-round picks. If you're not going to go and somehow get it to Sean or or Roger, someone like that, you use those picks. You build around Jalen Hurts. Maybe you move down, get some picks in the future because it's not, you know, the the best class in terms of offensive weapons. But he's still a pretty deep class. Maybe you could pick up a guy like a Drake London, a big body. Um, You know, maybe you have to move up probably for a Garrett Wilson or someone like that. But I think Jalen Hurts... He made the playoffs. I know the schedule wasn't great, but you still got to play your schedule. He did what he had to do. He got into the playoffs his first year. Rookie head coach as well. So there's nothing that I really took away from this game. If you hated Jalen Hurts after this game, you still hate him. If you're a Jalen Hurts believer, you still believe in him. So I didn't take anything away from this. They never had a chance. We said that in the preview last week. We None of us gave them a chance to win this game. The, the Bucks and Brady, they're by far the better team, better coaching staff. They've been there year after year. So... When it comes down to it, I'm a still believer in Jalen Hurts. Okay, I appreciate all that you mentioned. These stats were pretty good. Uh, not that I really care about it. That's like so rude. The, the oh, Kyler. I'm from the park when he talks about Matt. Kyler. Oh, he's too. on one, bro. Me he's too. on Kyler, one. But I agree. I agree with everything he's about to say. Go ahead. The Kyler versus, like you mentioned, he has some stats that, you know, are with Kyler and Kirk and all, you know. they're. I'm great. just talking. Okay, it's I, a very I, get, small I, I, I understand that. Okay, whatever. Let's talk about the game first. This was just a complete embarrassment. This was yeah. also an embarrassment. Um, Two touchdowns. They lost. They, they were. It was embarrassment. They were down thirty-one to zero at one point. They Had it well. not been for the garbage time stats that Thank Jalen God. Hurts put up, <laughs> this would have been his his just stat sheet would have looked so. You gotta play awful. four quarters, bro. I'm sorry. What do you want? You mentioned the Jalen Hurts rushing ability. Yes, it's elite. Yeah, that's the only thing that's elite about him. And his leadership and the way he dresses too, I would say, is a leader. He's fly. fly. Yeah, he is fly. And he's handsome. Look, yeah, yes. He's a good looking yes. dude. For he sure. does have a great jawline. I do agree. That, that takes and into account, waves. bro. Look at Jimmy G. <laughs> there was a point in the game where they the Eagles had nine drives. They had seven first downs. I came on this show last week, and it's actually been a reoccurring theme or, or for the past couple of weeks that I've been telling you guys. That I've been thinking Hurts has been getting overrated because of this season. I said it last week. Everybody thinks that Hurts backpacked this team. When it wasn't like that, the offensive line is elite. The weapons, yes, they're not elite. But the Eagle scheme didn't the Eagle scheme didn't ask for the receivers to be elite. Because the backfield, they were a run first team. That's what they were. With patchy running backs. They brought in Jordan Howard. I, I don't think they signed him in the offseason. They were good though. I, I know, but you guys. I, I don't, I don't, I don't care. Sanders. I don't care about the names if they produced. A they majority produced. of their yards were from Bart Scott, uh, Boston Scott's one rush for thirty-four yards. Yeah. If yeah. not for that, they'd have under Nothing. sixty yards. Yeah. I just want to preface this by saying, I agree with the decision for the Eagles to stick with Hertz as quarterback next season. I agree. This is a stopgap, though. And the Eagles will very quickly learn that he's not a franchise quarterback. 
my comparison for him out of college that still stands today is Tyrod Taylor. And whenever I say that, I get so much slack. Like Tyrod Taylor didn't make the make a Pro Bowl in his first year as a full time starter with the Bills. Like he didn't lead the Bills to the playoffs. But he is a career backup spot starter. That's what I think Jalen Hurts is gonna be. He's good. He's just not great. Those traits that he has as a quarterback, yes, can he get better at reading defenses? Absolutely. Um but he doesn't have elite traits as a thrower. He just doesn't. He has a good NFL arm. I'd say it's about average, maybe a little bit above. He does have an elite rushing ability, but when that's taken away, you saw how he looked. And when I was re-watching the Bucks and Eagles game, not the playoff game, but the original one they played in a regular season, these are all things that stood out to me. I don't I I, I don't put too much stock into the completion percentage. He completed 61% of his passes this season. Most of his passes were run pass out. The, the scheme was run pass RPOs, bubble screens, short passes, and he completed 61%. The Eagles stopped throwing the ball outside the numbers and specifically in the middle of the field because Jalen Hurts, he just was not good in that area. That That's, that's exactly why. He's an okay quarterback, but his pocket presence, he sees ghosts out there. He runs away when nothing's in front of him. He doesn't have great pocket presence. He doesn't go through his progressions very well, which he can get better at, I understand. He's just an okay NFL quarterback. And the reason why I started to get pissed off about Jalen Hurts this season is because people have started to categorize him as baby Lamar. And compare poor man's Lamar, and and compare he's, he's Lamar's Lamar. and compare Lamar's first sixteen starts to Hertz's and stuff like that, and all these numbers show they're similar guys and stuff like that. When that's not the case, and that's why I made the comment I did that I think he started to he's starting to get overrated. The Buccaneers' performance, <clears throat> Jalen Hurts has been that quarterback all season long. It's just no team. Doing a large part of their week schedule was able to really make Hurts play a way that he's not comfortable playing. And versus the Buccaneers, it just got exposed. I know it's only a second season. That's why I'm not going to be too critical. I do think he has a limited ceiling. If he surpasses it, will I be surprised? I won't. Donovan McNabb has a lot of faith in him. He's he has said that the Eagles have their QB, that they should be patient. And it's really about the Eagles just building this team up because regardless if Hurts is the long-term starter or not, they have to build a team that can contend. So if Hurts is not the long-term starter, you can bring in a guy who can just fill in right away and and then have success. They have three first-round picks, the pick number 15, 16, and 19, three picks in the first round in the team's area. And in in this draft, in this draft, the top 10 isn't that great either. So this is the perfect spot to be in. They have $12 million in cap space, so they can play around with it a little bit. But Hurts, to me, has a lot of flaws. And I, I'm just not... The The problem with Hurts is that he has these flaws, but he doesn't have the upside. Zach Wilson, he has flaws, but he has the upside that if he gets over the flaws, he can be a top 10 quarterback. I don't think Hurts has that type of ceiling. I think he's just an average quarterback, Teddy Bridgewater-esque, Tyrod Taylor-esque, and that's totally fine. I mean, this is a guy that was a second-round pick that was called a running back that nobody thought had an NFL future. So he's surpassing expectations. Without Can he surpass more? Probably. We'll just see what happens. But th- that's what I think about Jalen Hurts. I'm sorry, King. Usually we see eye to eye. Unfortunately, not on this one. I think he's a solid quarterback for sure. He's not bad. He's by no means a bad quarterback. Do I think he's a franchise quarterback? I don't think so, personally. I think I need my quarterback to be a great passer or at least a... This is going to sound mean. I don't think he's a good passer either. I think he's at best okay. I think that he needs to work on his accuracy. He needs to work on his pocket presence. And I think that, like we all can agree... I think we can all agree he can get better at pocket awareness. That being said... 
it's really tough to become an accurate thrower in the NFL if you aren't already. He has the offensive line already to protect him. I agree he does not have the best weapons. But that being said, this past weekend, he had some guys open. Quez was open deep twice, and he missed him twice by yards. And that's been my whole gripe with Jalen Hurts basically this entire year. I can trust him on the ground without a doubt, but in terms of actually letting the ball fly, that's where things get dicey. And this was going to be a script. From day one, we knew this. This was this game was going to be a script where Jalen Hurts was going to, if he had a chance to win this game, it had to be with his arm. And that that's where I could have no confidence in the Eagles winning this game by any means. If Jalen Hurts does not get better accuracy-wise as a quarterback, I can't see it happening, personally. You know I like Hurts, because he's always been doubted. You know, he got benched in the <laughs> That's in why the I like Lamar, game. but I feel, I feel similarly with Lamar also. it's I Do I think Lamar's a great quarterback? Yes, I do think he is. Yeah. Do I ever think that he'll get over the hump and win a Super Bowl, personally? Un- until he works on his accuracy and is consistent as an accurate passer, I, don't know, man. I will always have my I've, reservations. I've seen I Flacco go. I've seen Jimmy G go to the Super Bowl. I've seen Nick Foles go Lamar's to the Super Bowl. Lamar's a great Bowl. passer. But Jimmy G was a great a great passer? He's a great passer. I can't agree with that. He's a great passer. I can't agree I don't with even that. Know if I can't go great. I can't. I can't. Because you tell he's me great, great you're telling me he's like a top five, seven passer in the league. He's not there. He's No, that's elite. He's a great passer. Oh, here we go, semantics. I what know, do you semantics. mean? Come on. It is semantics. It's elite, top five, it's top six, top seven. Come on. He's, he's a good passer. All right. All right. So let's name let's name guys. You said five, top five. Who's a better do you passer? Think, do you think? I think. Okay. Okay. This is all that's right. what I'm saying. All right. Name players. We'll talk Okay. About Aaron Rodgers. Aaron. Tom Brady. Tom. Josh Allen. Allen. Mahomes. Mahomes. Matthew Stafford. Stafford. Derek Carr. That Lamar. Matt Ryan. Lamar. Oh, wow. right now. I'm shocked. Come Russell, on, bro. Russell Russell let, me, let me bring up a... Russell. Joe Burrow. Joe. Herbie. Herbert. We're nine d- names deep, That's deep eight, now. Eight. eight. I count. Dak Prescott. Lamar. I disagree. Just passing? Kyler. 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 It's even. Oh my God, bro, that's Kyler crazy! Was the league in completion bro, that's crazy. With the high yeah, because they, that's crazy. No, that's it's crazy. Just, I I see that's their scheme. Crazy. It, it it warrants for his complete but, percentage. But it, high. see, but we we already went over that. We debunked that because he lets the ball fly. He had and one, he's, one of the highest A dots in the league come, and leading the league in completion bro, percentage. I just think Lamar Jackson. He's a great passer. He's not. He's a. He's again. He's a. Listen, go- I'm one of the biggest Lamar fans. I can't say he's a great passer just yet. I think he's a great passer. I think this year was an off season for him. I'll, I'll admit that. You guys know I'm not the biggest Lamar fan, and I'm the biggest Lamar fan. That's why I'm shocked exactly. right now. No, but I, I just think that yeah, I, I, I he, Lamar, I don't think will win a Super Bowl. That's okay. I don't think he'll do that. I don't, why not? But so. I, but I because I think once once he gets paid, the roster is going to be decimated and. I mean, it's what happens. The Ravens are such a good organization. They, they are. always had good players, no matter what. They paid Joe Flacco huge money, and plus, I just think the. The yeah. lifeline of running quarterbacks is very short. Yeah, but I mean, he's going to last one contract, definitely. Yeah, Cam Newton got drafted in 2011. He lasted until 2015, basically. Cam was 2015, also... 2015, 2016. I feel like Cam also was just Bowl, taking... So it was a few years after that. Cam was taking, no, but I feel he, like he a dropped off hits. after that. He, he, made the, he made the playoffs in 2016, but after 2017 and, and over, he dropped off. Cam, Lamar, has to, Lamar has to take a page out of Kyler's book because Kyler doesn't get hit often. Lamar still gets hit often, but Cam, I feel like, thought just since he was always such a big body, he could withstand all those hits, and eventually it caught up to him. But, but I mean, Lamar is better passion than Cam. Yeah, he is. So he's got that going for him so too, he, and yeah, I think he's yeah, better. I, run- I mean, he's a he's a faster runner. Obviously, Cam was more physical, probably the most physical we've is, ever seen. Is Lamar? You don't think Lamar is the best running quarterback? He's the best seen? running quarterback no, no. of all time. Oh, without yeah. a doubt. But okay. in terms of everything, and I'm taking into account. No, yeah, Lamar. Because you Cam said Cam, Cam is a better. Pa- you said that Lamar's a better passer than yeah. Cam. Yeah, and he's the best rushing quarterback. Cam had a 35 seen. and 10 season and still rushed for 10 touchdowns that year. I I, I think Lamar's he, MVP year. I think he actually ran for 15. He had 50 total touchdowns. Lamar's MVP year is better than Cam's MVP year. I disagree with that wholeheartedly. I'll, if we're talking about regular season only, Lamar had yes. thirty six and nine. Thirty six touchdowns, nine picks is every Lamar. Year. Yeah. Correct. If passing. you look at if you look yeah. at thirty six and, and nine and nine interceptions. He had All right. his right. If you look at Lamar's MVP year, regular season, he was Seven. far better. He was better than Cam. So forty three total and but nine. Because Cam had six thir- six thirty six and ten touchdowns. He had fifty total touchdowns. Okay. Yeah, Lamar had forty three. I mean, on the goal line, though, they use Cam a lot of more. Course, so, of course, of you course. Know, I'm Lamar's just saying, like I think the playoffs is what separates Cam in that season because he made the Super Bowl 
Lamar got embarrassed in a divisional round. Yeah. It is what it that's, is. That's a good debate, though. Lamar versus Cam. I think so, too. That's yeah. actually was going to be a question of mine. You kind of just beat me to it. Yeah, we had that debate on the podcast before, actually. Really? Was I here? No. That was when this room was still red. Really? Yeah. That's a really good debate. 